Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. Well, welcome back to Giga Texas. It's Monday, the 5th of September, and in the United States, this is Labor Day, and maybe some other places around the world too. So it's kind of a slow day on this holiday. I thought I would take advantage of that fact, and I would provide you some really interesting and different views of Giga Texas. We do a 360 degree tour around the perimeter of the property, all 3,100 acres, and we do a 360 degree view of the factory itself at much closer in. But before that, I have a few things I want to talk about to set up the video. For today, we're going to talk about two new permits that affect Giga Texas. Now, keeping up with permits is a difficult challenge because there's so much activity. But for today, we have two new ones, and we'll talk about what they are, where they're located, and how they impact Giga Texas. The first permit was filed on the 23rd of May, and it's for the Gilbert Road Wastewater Lift Station improvements. And I believe that this is related to that horizontal drilling operation that we've seen in the south um, going underneath the river. This was filed by E.B. Garza, which is the main civil engineering firm for Giga Texas. As you can see by the inset map on the left, this is how I believe that that wastewater pipe will be running from that south under the river all the way to the north to Gilbert Road. And the inset image is just a recent photo I took with how that may appear. Now this is again a little bit of speculation as far as the location and how it's related to that pipe, but I believe that this is very much the case. Local residents have been informed about this change, so it probably affects the local uh, housing community as well as Giga Texas. The second permit we'll talk about was filed just on the 1st of September, so it's very new. This is for the North Inbound Logistics. It's listed as a warehouse, and as you can see in the upper right-hand corner, it was filed directly by Tesla itself. Now, this is a very large parcel of land, 166 acres, or about 67 hectares, but there's no direct information about where this is located. Now in the upper left hand corner map, this gives you an idea of the overall construction sites and the overall property line of Giga Texas. Now option one may be located just north of the battery cathode plant extending over towards the electrical substation as shown by the inset yellow highlighted area and this is about 166 acres. There's another possibility and this is a little bit more difficult to consider because it's northwest of the highway on the opposite side of the highway but still on Tesla property also 166 acres. Now my conjecture and my speculation is that we may already be seeing it under construction now as you can see by the lower right hand corner photo. This is just north of the battery cathode plant. You can see the activity has been increasing on clearing this location and clearing out the ponds and the dashed line kind of shows where that would be in relation to the battery cathode plant. Of course, this is part of the speculation, and I am not sure. I don't have information either way to say uh, which is true, but I'd be interested to hear your comments, so let's see them down below in the comments section. Well, I hope you enjoyed that review of the two permits that have just uh, come up at Giga Texas, where they are, where they may be, and what that may mean for Giga Texas. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's get a 360-degree tour around the perimeter and then the factory itself. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you have a great Labor Day weekend. And as always, thank you very much for watching. A special thank you to all of my outstanding Patreons for your continued encouragement and support. Patreon members get access to hundreds of high resolution photos, previews of the future material, and direct dialogue with me. If you would like to support my channel, please consider becoming a patron using this link, which is also in the video description. Please also consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons as this helps as well. Thank you. My drones are ready and raring to go. Let's go flying over Giga Texas. Well, happy Labor Day, and I hope that you're having a great weekend. Today, we start off on the west side of the highway up here where material storage has been used for about the last year or two. You'll also notice on the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, I'll put these maps up periodically just to help uh, give you orientation to where I am flying the drone. Now, this area is a part of Tesla's property, and it is possible that this will be for a future development area. 
but you can see there's quite a bit of ponds, quite a bit of uh, elevation changes that would need to be reclaimed with a lot of earthwork and a lot of preparation before any construction can begin on this particular section of this property. Now you can see how this west side looks in relation to the factory and also to this residential neighborhood which is very close to Giga Texas. Now as we continue to fly south just uh, as a reminder when uh, Cyber Rodeo happened this field that you see here in the center of the screen is where all the drones and all the fireworks were set up for that event. Uh, since then, what mainly has been happening is they've been using this uh, foundation uh, location onto the left-hand side of the screen as a lot of material storage, and this material storage is for pretty much all of the construction projects that are going on around Giga Texas. Now, on the right-hand side of the screen, you'll see some more of these hills and ponds and this relatively undeveloped section of this property. Uh, about a year and a half ago, there was a lot of work to flatten out quite a bit of these hills. And you can kind of see remnants of that work, also to remove some of the ponds. But work has sort of ceased on this particular location for a while. I keep looking to see if there's any developments here, but uh, not so much. Now, where the development here has happened, is this intersection that you see coming up in front of the drone with the uh, highway uh, here and this created something called River Road and it connects this highway all the way over to the east under the south bridge for Highway 130 and to the main factory itself. In addition to that there's been a lot of landscaping, a lot of trees being put in and also this water management system off to the left of the highway between the or the road between the road and the Colorado River. And you saw that map there would give you an idea of just where we are located. But uh, this entire section that you see here with the ponds has been remade into a water management uh, catch basin and they've changed the elevation of the road significantly higher than it used to be to help with any of the water that may happen during rainy seasons or any flooding that may occur. Now you can see the Colorado River very clearly here. This is the south border of Giga, Texas. And again, this is on the southwest side across the main highway. And you can see that material storage location as well. Now because it is Labor Day and the traffic is extremely light, I use this as an opportunity to fly across the highway and made sure that there were no vehicles that I was uh, going uh, over, uh, which is kind of important. But just want to make sure I clear that if any viewers had any questions as we continue further to the east. Now, you can see where the Colorado River is in relation to the main factory as well. I'm going to pull further to the south and to the east to give you an idea of how this area uh, is shaping up. Now, right now we're flying over the Austin Energy, the Sand Hill Energy Center, and this is a very large power station that serves this community. It also serves Giga Texas as well. And this is also where we see some of the pipes for the horizontal drilling operation underway. And you can see those starting to emerge on the right hand side of the screen along that uh, center roadway as we continue to fly the drone further to the south and to the east. Now the property we are directly over is not part of Giga Texas. However, on the right side of that central road, this is a recent purchase that was made that uh, is about 600 more acres and it adds to the overall site uh, property for Giga Texas. And you can see how this is in relation to uh, the main construction sites that we're familiar with. Now we're flying over the South Austin Regional Wastewater Treatment Plant and this is the southerly location of the pipes that are being installed under the Colorado River and heading up to Giga, Texas. And as we talked in the intro to the video, it's very likely that this is related to that permit for a lift station uh, work that's going on far to the north of Giga, Texas. And that pipe is most likely going to continue over to Giga, Texas and then up north as we discussed earlier. All of this green pasture that you see is part of a horse farm and what Giga Texas now owns as that 600 acre property purchase that uh, I referred to. And you can see the map at the uh, bottom of the screen just give you a reference of where we are located. This 
pond area is part of that purchase. So it would be interesting to, again, speculation to imagine that maybe this might be part of the nature walk, border walk open to the public that uh, Tesla has talked about as part of the overall construction of Giga Texas. You can see the lake is actually pretty large and there's a lot of uh, trees and uh, other nature areas around here. So who knows, but this might be a great location for that. Now between this lake and the property uh, of uh, Giga Texas that you see coming in focus here is the Colorado River and you can kind of see it coming in from the left, snaking across the middle of the screen and we'll fly directly over that and you can see how the river is situated in relation to this lake and you can also see this kind of a small dirt roadway uh, in between. And here's the map just giving you an idea again of where we are located with the drone at this point in time. Now, what we see in the middle of the screen is the familiar east side is what I refer to of where the material storage is, all of the contractor trailers, that warehouse on wheels yard, and all of that earthwork, earthwork that is going on to reconfigure that area. You can also see the battery cathode plant and where it is in relation to the Colorado River, that east side, the Martin Marietta concrete batch plant in the middle of the screen, and as we continue further to the north, this new clearing uh, that is going on that we've been monitoring. And uh, as we talked a little bit in the beginning of the screen or the video, we talked about uh, the second permit that talked about a 166 acre location for a north inbound uh, warehouse. And this is how this one area, which I refer to as option one, may appear. And it's coincident with a lot of the earthwork that's going on right now. There would be a lot of work still ahead of them to reclaim a lot of the ponds and the hills from the sand and gravel mining. So I don't know if that is where it's going to be, but uh, uh, hopefully that was helpful in seeing that location. Now, what you see on the center of the screen here is the temporarily relocated rental machinery or rental equipment. Uh, lot. This was moved away from that east side and it was put up into this field. I call the field on the left the lone tree field and you can see why there's only a single tree. Again, that is where the Model Y is racing across the field chasing the lady on the horse and jumping the Model Y with the horns was filmed. Now we're going to continue farther to the north and uh, this is really getting uh, to the sort of the far northeast corner of the uh, property and you can see in the inset map about where the drone is now and these two large fields are very flat and would be a great place to build something at some point uh, you wouldn't have to do a lot of the earthwork reclamation that you would in the other areas where the sand and gravel mine took place now we're continuing even farther to the north in the middle of the screen is an old house complex. Um, it was sold, uh, that area was sold to Tesla as part of the land purchase and uh, uh, still exists to this day, but uh, nobody lives there. It's just part of the property and eventually it will be uh, either removed or some other purpose for it. Now we're continuing even farther to the north. You can see uh, almost the extreme far north of the uh, Giga Texas property. Now a little bit farther north of even where I am now is where that uh, permit for option one or that first permit that we talked about for the lift station modifications would take place. So theoretically that uh, pipe that they're drilling under the river would have to come all the way up this uh, area to uh, do that. But uh, as you can see, we're now crossing over the highway again. Uh, the highway and the part in between the highway is not part of Giga Texas. However, the land on the left and where we're flying right now is part of Giga Texas. And where I'm showing you now, and you can see in the inset map, this is where uh, we were talking in the intro. Maybe option two might be for that uh, inbound uh, warehouse location. The diagram here shows you another 166 acre possible location um, but as you can see almost all of it is ponds 
and hills left over from that sand and gravel mining. So if any work were to be done in this section, it would take a tremendous amount of earthwork, pond removal, hill uh, flattening, and just reclamation work. So this is why of the two options, uh, I speculated that option one is more likely than not where that 166 acres and the development of the inbound logistics warehouse might be. But uh, uh, from what you see here, I'd like to hear your thoughts and comments. So put them in the comments of the video and uh, I'll take a look at them. But we continue to fly further to the south. Uh, again, this is still all of Giga Texas property, obviously on the west side of the main highway and uh, including the large field ahead of us. Now, as we continue further to the south, you're going to see the uh, facility here for the uh, asphalt uh, production. That square section is not part of Giga Texas property. And the inset map just gives you an idea of, again, where we are located and how that overall property map kind of moves in and out around this uh, area where the asphalt manufacturing plant is. And as we continue a little bit further to the south, we're almost approaching to the, lo the location that we began this part of the video. And uh, hopefully these views just gives you a good overall view of where everything is located, how it, it situates with the main factory, and uh, just a lot of the sections of the property that we do not normally see on a daily basis. So now that we've completed that 360 degree tour around the main property lines, let's reposition the drone back across the highway, take a look at the electrical substation construction area, and then prepare for a 360 degree view of the main factory uh, and how it appears today. And I think the lighting here worked out really well just to give you a good view of the construction site here for the electrical substation on the left hand side of the screen and on the right hand side of the screen in that triangular area will be where the mega pack battery storage system is installed and the inset map just gives you an idea of where we are with the drone right now. Now you can see the water detention pond on the left and a lot of work is being done with the stormwater pipe to connect that to the management water management system for Giga Texas. And you can also see some more of the equipment being stockpiled that will be necessary for the construction of the actual electrical substation. And that is what is going on right now. Hopefully maybe this week we'll start seeing some of that componentry and uh, maybe some of the foundations installed. So now that I've repositioned the drone here, let's do a 360 degree flight around the entire main factory. And I normally get a lot closer during my typical videos, but at this one, we'll go ahead and stay at an altitude of about, uh, about 300 feet or about 100 meters in altitude. And here we're at the casting machine structure on the east side, and you can see all the castings that are arrayed on the uh, ground level right outside. And those racking systems usually have castings in them, but it looks like they are all empty today. And uh, I'm not sure exactly what that uh, indicates, but uh, perhaps a, a change in the production processes that are going on right now maybe is part of the ramping that is going on. Uh, here you can see some cleanup right in front of the east main entrance or the secondary entrance as we just passed. And along the body and white section of the building here, um, and on moving on to the stamping machine structure, you can see all of the uh, cargo loading docks and some of the new ones that have been recently added to the factory. And just overall how this appears on this relatively slow day. Again, it is the Labor Day holiday. Um, there is some work going on into the factory from what I understand. We also see a little bit of work going on with some of the construction areas, uh, particularly 
uh, north of the battery cathode plant, but otherwise just not, uh, not a lot of activity today, so it's a great day to do these 360 degree tours. We are now on the southeast and proceeding to the south side of the building. You can kind of see that material storage on the south side of that uh, cyber pond, if you will. And you can also see the parking and loading ramps and how they appear today. Quite a bit of the vehicles have been moved to that rail yard up at Huddo, Texas. And it looks like there's a pause in the production at the moment, but I would expect to see that come back in, uh, in earnest tomorrow as we get back into the work week. Here we're going to proceed north along the west side of the building. This vantage point gives you a really good idea of how the solar panel installation, spelling out Tesla, is going on the roof. Most of the expansion work going on at the moment is centered around the T and the E of Tesla. Um, and uh, we'll continue to monitor that as it progresses. You can see the main entrance now has two thirds of that section poured with concrete and the rest of it should be finished up early this week. And as we proceed even further to the north and start to uh, turn the drone back facing to the uh, East, and again, sorry for some of the glare, but you can see that expansion location going on for the solar panels between the T and the E. And you also see how the lower part of the E is sort of protruding into that new section that they just added. But as I continue to maneuver the drone now on the north end, we'll get all of the factory in sight and you can see how the entire roof section is coming along and some of those familiar locations like the northwest corner that we talk about quite a bit on uh, my normal daily flights. You can also see how the cyber berms are appearing, all of the landscaping around the cyber berms themselves and how the entire north end of the building appears today. So I hope that you enjoyed this 360 degree tour of the main building as well. Kind of a bonus, we have two 360 degree tours today, one of the major, major property and one of the building itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and position the drone for a pullback just to reveal more of the site and to help uh, put into context all of the things that we have seen in this flight today. Uh, for those who may be wondering, the drone flew about uh, 15 miles to make this video. So it would give you an idea of uh, the, the immensity of the Giga Texas property. So again, I hope that you had a great weekend. I hope you're enjoying this Labor Day. And uh, I do appreciate you watching and for all of my Patreon supporters.